Hey, you're welcome to my channel. You're welcome to my channel. Today's lesson we are asked to multiply the matrices A. Okay, they said if A and B is this and this. Okay, so we are asked to solve A squared plus 2B plus 3I. Let's go ahead and get the results. Solution. Solution. First of all, what is A squared? This is our A. Our A is what? 3, 2, 1, 4. What is A squared? It means A times A, right? So this means that A squared is what? 3, 2, 1, 4. Multiplied by, this dot here is multiplication sign, okay? Multiplied by another 3, 2, 1, 4. Now, the main question now is, how do we multiply two matrices together? It's very easy. All you need to do is what? Row times column. Row times column. Now, which one is row and which one is column? Just follow me so that you understand this, okay? Now, what is row? When you have a matrix like this, we have 3, 2, 1, 4. For you to understand this, so let me make this. Let me add another line here. So, 2, 3, 5, 6, something like this. Now, which one are the rows? The rows are the horizontal numbers, the horizontal elements. The way they are represented in group horizontally. We have two groups of horizontal elements, right? So, we have one, we have two. So, it means that we have two rows, the horizontal ones. Now, how many columns do we have? We have one, two, three. One, two, three. So we have one, two, and three. So that means we have three columns. Three columns, okay? So rows and columns are what? The horizontal are the rows. The what? The vertical ones are the columns. So we have two rows and three columns. So we can call this matrix now a two by three, two by three matrix. So, when you want to multiply two matrices together, you multiply your row by your column. Multiply your row by your column. Okay? Let's go ahead and do that. Now, we have what? Our A squared then is going to be equal to. But before I continue, please, I would like you to hit your subscription button and also on your notification bell so that you don't miss my next lesson, okay? Please subscribe and also on your notification bell. All right, let us continue. So we now have, this is our row, this three and two, and this three and one is our first column, right? Our first row is three and two. Our first column is three and one. So we are going to multiply the first row by the first column. Now let's go ahead and do that. So three times three is what we are going to have, three times three. Plus, we are going to use the corresponding elements in terms of rows and columns. So this three, we multiply this three. This two, we multiply this one. Row multiplied by column. Row multiplied by column. So it's going to be plus. This two, now we multiply one. Two times one. Okay? So we are through with this. We go ahead and multiply this row again with the second column. This first row must be multiplied by the first and the second column before you stop using the first row. We now start the second column. And we are still going to use the second, sorry, we now start with the second row. We are still going to use the second row to multiply the first column and the second column. Okay? Now let's go ahead and do this one. Two times two. Times two. We have finished our first row and first column. So we are now doing first row, second column. Okay? So it's going to be 3 times 2, 3 times 2, plus 2 times 4, 2 times 4. So we are now through. Notice we did first row, first column, which is this, first row, first column. Then we do first row, second column, first row, second column. Okay, we are through with the first row. We are now going to use this second row now to multiply our first and second column. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's now going to be 1 times 3. Once you enter the second row, you come down to your second row here. Okay, so it's going to be 1 times 3. 1 times 3 plus 4 times 1. 
4 times 1. So notice that we have used our second row to multiply the first column. 1 multiply 3, 4 multiply 1. 1 multiply 3, 4 multiply 1. So we are through with the first element here. What are we going to do again? We are now going to use this second row again to multiply the second column. So once we are through with multiplying this with the second column, we are now through. Okay. So we are now going to say 1 times this one now we multiply. Remember we are in the second column. So this 1 times this 2. Okay. Plus this 4 times this 4. 4 times 4. I believe you understood that. Okay. Let me do a recap. Let me do a recap. In multiplying two matrices together, what you do is what? Row times column. Row times column. Now, what are rows? Rows are what? The horizontal ones. What are columns? Columns are what? The vertical ones. So, we use your row to multiply each of your column. So, for this one now, we are going to use this first row, which is 3 and 2 to multiply the first column, which is 3 and 1. After using it to multiply the first column, which is, which is 3 and 1, we still use it again to multiply the second column, which is 2 and 4. The only thing is that when you finish multiplying it with the first column, that becomes your first number. You leave space. Then when you want to use it to multiply the second column, that becomes your second number, the second element. Element means each of these numbers here, they are called elements of what? A matrix. Now you have three. Let's do that once more. Three you multiply three. We are now using this first row to multiply the first column. So we have three times three, which is what I have here, plus two times one. Row, column, row, column. It's like this row and column. Okay. All right. So three times three, we have this plus two times one. We have this. We are through with this first row and first column. So we are now going to use the same first row to multiply the second column. So whatever we get here now will be the second element, which will be here. It's going to be a space here. Okay? So we now have 3 times 2, which is what we have here. And 2 times 4, which is what we have here. So we are through with our first row. Once we are through with using the first row to multiply the first column and the second column, we are through with the first row. So we now enter the second row, which is our 1 and 4. Okay, now we are going to use this one and four to also multiply the first column and also use it to multiply the second column. So when we use it to multiply the first column, it's going to be our first element here. When we use it, both of them to multiply the second column, it's going to be our second element here. Okay, so we are going to do that now. One times three is this plus four times one is this. So this first row has multiplied this first column. So this is our first element for this second row for here. Now we are going to get the second element that will be here. That means we are going to use this row to multiply the second column this time around. So it's going to be 1 times 2, 1 times 2, plus 4 times 4, 4 times 4. We are through. Once you use it to multiply the first and the second column, you are through. Because you don't have any other column. As mean there is a third column, you still use it to multiply the third column. That means in that way, you are going to have another number again. This plus this again. Okay? All right. So we are going to have that A squared is equal to 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 times 4 is 8. This one is easy now, right? 1 times 3 is 3 plus 4 times 1 is 4. All these are different different elements right now one times two is two plus four times four is sixteen all right so it now means that this will be our solution for a squared it's now be equal to nine plus two we give us eleven six plus eight we give us fourteen you have fourteen three plus four we give us twelve and two plus sixteen we give us what 18. So this becomes our answer. 9 plus 2 is 11. 6 plus 8 is 14. 3 plus 4 is, imagine, 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 is 7, please. Is 7. 2 plus 16 is 18. So this becomes our answer. 
for a squared. So we are through with a squared, but remember we are asked to do a squared plus 2b plus 3i. Okay, let's go ahead and get our 2b. So this is our a squared. Our a squared is equal to this. So let's go ahead and do our 2b. This one now is very easy. It's very easy. Now this is our b. Our b is equal to 1, 3, 2, 2. Okay, they said 2b. 2b is going to be equal to what? 2 into what is our b? 1, 3, 2, 2. Now this one is very easy. This is going to give us what? This is equal to 2 times this one. So it's going to be 2 times 1. That is what you are going to have here. 2 times 3. 2 times 3. So you are just going to use these two to multiply each of these elements. Okay? All right. So you are going to have 2 times 2 here. 2 times 2. You have 2 times 2 again. 2 times 2. All right. So it now means that our 2b is equal to 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 2 is 4. Okay? This is our 2b, right? Okay, the next one says 3i plus 3i. Now what is our 3i? Our 3i. Three i. First of all, what is i? I means identity matrix. Identity matrix. Now, what is identity matrix? A matrix that its diagonal, the elements in its diagonals are what? One. The elements in its diagonals is one. Every other element in it is zero. See what I mean? Because we are working with a two by two matrix, we are going to form a two by two identity matrix. So we are going to have this and this. So first, 1, 0, 0, 1. Remember that, notice that the diagonal elements here are 1 and 1. Every other number here is 0 and 0. Or every other element is what? 0, 0. So that's where we have formed our identity element. So identity element for this 2 by 2 that we have been solving is what? 3 into 1, 0, 0, 1. So we have 1, 1 in each diagonal. Every other thing is what? Zero. Now, if we multiply this, you have three times one. Three times one will give you three. Three times zero will give you zero. Three times zero will give you zero. Three times one will give you three. So this becomes our three i. So this is now our three i. Three times our i gave us what? Three zero zero three. Now the question says what? A squared plus what? Two b. Plus what? 3i. Now let's go ahead and do that. Our a squared is 11, 14, 7, 18. So we are going to have this element, which is our a squared, is what? 11, 14, 7, 18. 11, 14, 7, 18. We are going to add it to our 2b, which is 2, 6, 4, 4. 2, 6, 4, 4. Plus our 3i, which is what? 3003. 3003. Three. So now to add matrices together is very easy. For you to add matrices together is very easy. All you need to do is to add the corresponding elements together. Notice that this 11, this 2, and this 3 are occupying the same position in their respective matrix. So 11, 2, and 3 are a match. 14, 6, and 0, they match. Okay? 7, 4, 0, they match. 18, 4, 3, they match because they are occupying the same position. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and add them together. So this is going to be equal to 11, 2 plus 3, plus 2 plus 3. 11 plus 2 plus what? 3. Now we have 14 plus 6 plus 0. 14 plus 6 plus 0. Now we have 7 plus 4 plus 0. 7 plus 4 plus 0. 
and we have 18 plus 4 plus 3. 18 plus 4 plus 3. That is because I'm using them because they are occupying what? Similar positions. They are occupying the similar positions. So this is equal to 11 plus 2 is going to give us 13. 13 plus 3 will give us what? 16. So you have 16 here. Okay? All right. So we have 14 plus 6 is going to give us 20. 20 plus 0 is still what? 20. Then for this one now, 7 plus 4 will give us what? 11. 11 plus 0 is still 11. Now for this, 18 plus 4 will give us 22. 22 plus 3 will give us what? 25. All right. And this becomes our answer. Thanks for watching. Bye.